Hello and welcome to how to play classic Sega Genesis game on your computer. In this video tutorial you will learn how to play classic Sega Genesis console games on your modern computer which can be Mac or PC. There's a tons of games that gamers remembered and uh, like a Mortal Kombat, Robocop vs Terminator, uh, Aladdin and etc. There is tons of games on the Sega Genesis and um, it's already lost in the memories and if for those veterans and gamers who would like to play and refresh some memories uh, from the past of 2000, 1996, this video tutorial is dedicated just for you folks. In this video tutorial you will learn how to play them and how to play all your favorite games uh, when you were just a little kid and you are playing them days and nights. There is some requirements uh, basically pretty much it's, uh, some software is required to play the game and the ROM which is uh, going to be a software that this game will be supplied. So Fusion software uh, for Windows computer and Genesis Plus for Macintosh computers. Software is called em emulators and they are required to emulate um, device which is Sega Genesis on your computer and basically to fake it so it will think it's a Sega Genesis instead of your computer and then it will run the game and play it just like it was on a Sega Genesis also there is a ROM file with the game is required so you need to find your favorite ROM uh, file with the game just go ahead and google for it uh, just type maybe uh, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 and ROM file in the Google search engine and find it, download it and play it. Also Fusion software or Genesis Plus software can be uh, looked up on the Google as well. There's a bunch of websites that are providing the emulators and ROMs of classic games and you can just go ahead and uh, visit them, find yourself a nice website with less ads and uh, pretty much a stable, no viruses in the zip files because regularly those ROM files are supplied with the zip files and uh, there is some crooks out there about 10% of those websites that supplying in the zip files supplying some uh, viruses so you want to make sure that you're not downloading executable files and you're only downloading ROM file with that bin uh, extension or some other extensions that I will show you in a second or in a zip file and be very caution uh, when you're going to extract the archive make sure there is no other files in there except the ROM files and the extensions that you will learn uh, in this video tutorial and there is also a computer or laptop is required that made in 2007-2008 uh, for PC it could be made, uh, made in 2005 for Mac it should be made in 2008 because or 2007 because when the Mac switched to Intel um, platform so the emulator which is Gen Genesis Plus will work on your Intel Mac uh, computer pretty much pretty simple as you can see software is required and uh, ROM with your favorite game and a computer or laptop to play it there is also some um, already some new emulators that made for the iPhones and Android devices so you can also play your favorite games on the on iPhone or Android devices but I'm not good uh, this is just a basic information for you but I'm not going to show you and name you those softwares in this video tutorial but you can research and find for yourself just with the Google alright so enough theories let's see some actions and learn how to do it basically by seeing it on the screen alright folks so I'm just assuming that you downloaded the Fusion 364 if you're using this for the PC and I'm going to use this for the PC so I'm going to use the Fusion uh, software emulator and you can download Genesis Plus if, as again if you're using this on a Mac and the basically the theory and the idea will be just the same but it's going to be just on Mac so you just need to extract the Fusion 364 usually it comes in a zip file and run the Fusion executable file about 2 uh, megabytes 
and you will see something like this and I have Fusion 364 so uh, 3.64 64 version and I believe this is the open source if I'm not mistaken uh, and it comes absolutely as a freeware okay so we just um, click and we run the, uh, the emulator this is the emulator this is what going to emulate our computer and to make to the ROM uh, to tell to ROM file with the game that this is the Sega Genesis the next thing uh, you want to just go ahead and run some um, pretty much um, let me just put it like this some ROM file and I already got some ROM files for you just to show you let's go ahead and ru run some Aladdin and this is the old school game and it's amazing and uh, there's a music in here you can enable uh, FPS if you want uh, you can disable the music the sound uh, let me go ahead and disable the sound in this case and um, pretty much show FPS it's going to be 60 because I'm having today uh, top end video card which is Radeon R9 290X as again it will be a video tutorial about that video card amazing video card uh, but not so amazing and I will explain to you why it's amazing and why why it's not so amazing but you can enable disable some FPS you can do some some other options right here you can also set the config file that's what I want you to do just under the controllers right here controller tab uh, you can just go ahead and click define and then over here it will say press up uh, press down so it's basically setting the uh, config with the keys that you want on your keyboard by pressing them and uh, start button enter X which is X let's say Y as a C and Z as a Z and mode let's say shift mode it was select on some a uh, Sega Genesis joysticks and here we go it's set there is some other comp uh, components that you can uh, configure click OK and it's set to go also keep in mind that uh, it's not necessary the fusion um, emulator that you can use you can use some other emulators there is about about 10 of them available for you as a freeware you can try them but pretty much they all going to have uh, the same uh, idea how to run the ROM file it's going to be a ROM file and then you can adjust the settings and etc of your controller and etc okay let me just go ahead and run it and uh, here we go we are just going to run this and uh, pretty much for those who um, played this game in the past they already know the game is amazing and that worth to play especially if you're old schooler and you have a young uh, kid in the family it's it's nice for them to experience this experience of the uh, first 16-bit uh, this is the 16-bit um, uh, consoles. Um, there's also was also the um, eight bit consoles and um, and some Tetris and etc. But sixteen bit was one of the best consoles in two thousand six and during that time the graphics was amazing and this Aladdin is amazing game. You just play. There is a bunch of secrets in here. The game is amazing. So you got an idea and. Um, you can also basically run multiple of them at the same time if you want multiple windows and um, there's some cool games like Robocop vs Terminator I suggest you to play it if you never played before it's an amazing game as well there is also um, some uh, other games such as um, let me real quick show you ultimate mortal kombat amazing all the series some helicopters like jungle strike and uh, some basketball some sport games some hockey football there is a tons of games on this Sega Genesis that you can play and have fun this is the Robocop amazing game as well let me just go ahead and show you uh, for all those veterans they probably remember this game uh, but just want to let you know this game actually was in some of the movie theaters that you can play and um, let me adjust the settings just real quick again uh, define uh, up down left right okay start ok 
Okay, mode. Here we go. Okay, I'm just showing you. This is amazing game. It has a bunch of levels, bosses. It's it's amazing. And it, it used to be like some coins to play this game in some movie theaters and people was just playing days and nights over there. And in some, some other entertainment stations and centers. It's amazing. And of course uh, Mortal Kombat as well. And uh, pretty much you will face up the Terminator in the end and it's going to be some bosses. It's amazing. And uh, just figure out the keys and you'll just get used to it and uh, the game is, is worth it. You'll love it. Okay, so that's pretty much it and you can play any game. Um, and it's not supposed to be the fusion uh, emulator. It can be anything. On the Mac, for, for those who are looking for the Mac, it's just the same idea. I just going to just the the emulator going to look just a little bit different, but the idea is just the same. Keep that in mind. And also, if you're trying some other emulators, it will be the idea just the same. You need the ROM and you need the emulator, and then set the settings, and you can play it. And you can enable the sound. Of course, there is a sound. I just disable the sound so to show you the two different games at the same time, so you will see. And pretty much that's it, folks. And uh, this is how you're playing the Sega Genesis old school games and enjoying uh, your um, classic games that you remember as playing them as a kid and uh, setting some records. And uh, this is what the almost the the beginning of the digital game uh, industry. Before it was 8-bit and then 16-bit just turned everything upside down and after that it was like Sony PlayStations and uh, Panasonic 3D, 3DO I believe or 3DS, Nintendo was before the Sega Genesis but here we go, you got some some classic old school, um, there is a move, like a boss right here as you can see and uh, this is what games uh, begins from and uh, from something like this. So I just finish one level. There is multiple level. Just find your favorite game, go and search. There is tons of games to play, and uh, you'll have a bunch of fun. Thank you so much, folks, for watching, and please thumbs up for this video. So I'll have the motivation to make more tutorials and share more experience with you on a computer, graphic design, hardware, educate some other educational videos, and. Uh, Subscribe so you're not going to miss any of those videos. Okay, thumbs up or like. Thank you so much and have a nice day. Enjoy. Bye.